We are here at the Ativo Group today with Tracy Bembley. And Tracy's going to be talking to us today about Sage Mass 90 and Sage Mass 200. Tracy, can you tell us a little bit more about what you'll be showing us today? Well, I get a lot of questions when I'm out on site from end users about different problems they had and how to handle certain procedures. And one of the main ones I get a lot is how to handle credit card processing from non-credit card vendors to credit card vendors and how to transfer the invoices back and forth. So I'll be going that over with you today. Perfect. Thank you. I can't wait. How can I pay my credit card vendors from, from my non-credit card vendors? So first thing I need to do is you want to establish an actual credit card vendor. So I go into vendor maintenance and I pull up one of my vendors and I've already put in uh, American Express card. What the difference is, is the fact that over here, there is a, a new field called credit card vendor. So what I do is here is once I do a credit, once I have a credit card, decide this establishes a credit card vendor, I come here and I highlight this area right here and now I have a um, I've made this into a credit card vendor and now I can transfer open invoices from non-credit card vendors to this particular vendor. So let me um, establish that right now. I go here to credit card vendor. I highlight this, uh, this option and hit accept. So now I'm going to go into just another vendor. I'll just try, we'll try this one, Container Corporation. Container Corporation, I go to their invoices and I see that they have quite a number of invoices. So I'll pull, let's say this invoice here, this uh, $3,900 invoice. I'm going to pay that, that invoice is paid by my, my American Express card. So now, what I'm going to do now is I go into invoice data entry and I pull up my already established American Express card vendor. I put in invoice number, which I said before, you can either put the statement date or you can put in, like I'll put in just pay. I put in how much I want to pay. There was a $3,900 invoice out there. So what I'm probably going to do is I'll put $4,000 because there might be a few more. I don't have to do this on a one-for-one -one basis. I can put a whole group of non-credit card vendors that I've already paid with my American Express card in this particular entry. So I go through, I go into lines, and in the lines here, normally I just put in the GEO account and the amount that I paid on this particular GEO account, but now I'm going to do the transfer. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight this particular button here, which is actually the transfer button. Okay. And so I click on this. I choose, it brings up another entry screen. I could choose my particular vendor. I can move on to the current corporation. I can also choose which invoice I'm going to pay. Okay, well, I'll do monthly purchases. I'll, choose, I'll take the whole thing on monthly purchases. And this one I'm just going to put $4,000. I hit OK. And if you notice, you'll see here now, it shows the amount. It'll show I'm transferring from this particular vendor and what the invoice number was. If I like, I can put a comment out here if I want to. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and forward. So now that I've established that I've paid the entire $4,000 balance, I can go ahead and accept. I can escape from this menu. I can come down to invoice register. And now I'm going to hit preview so you can actually see what I brought over. I'm going to make this just a little bit larger. So now you can see here the American Express card, this is the American Express invoice, pay three, this is the date, this is the amount. Here I have the container, I have the invoice, the amount that I'm actually transferring from, and the total amount of the report. So there's only one, it's four thousand dollars, the total report's four thousand dollars. Now that I'm done with this, it's gonna bring up the general ledger distribution. I'll bring this up so you can see it. If you notice, there's no general ledger distribution because all we're doing is transferring 
from one vendor to another. So there's nothing there. There's nothing's going to hit the general ledger. Let's get out of here. Let's ask me if you want to update the invoice register. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'll not print the daily transaction register for now. So now I'm going to go back in and check my work. I'm going to go back into vendor maintenance. First things first, I'm going to go over to the container company and see if that information was transferred over. I'm going to invoices. I'm going to click on this one right here because it's 50000 If you notice, it says the invoice number is fifty grand. Payment of four thousand dollars. You'll see that it says C seven. That means it's credit card payment. So I'll know. Now I'll come back and I'll go into American Express. American Express card. I'll pull that up. And now you'll see payment three for four thousand dollars. And if I want to see what was actually on this four thousand dollars, I can actually drill down. It even says in highlights here. There, where it says. It says credit card vendor, so let's, it lets me know right off the bat. So I can go into lines, I can see the transfer, and I can see, I can drill down a little further, and I can see all the information that transferred from was one. Now if there's multiple here, it would show a list of all of them. And that is a very simple way of transferring non-credit card vendors to, credit, to your credit card vendors. And then from here, you can actually post a, post a payment and write that particular vendor a check. Thank you.